All right, today we went over the Bill of Rights. Uh, we finished up the Bill of Rights slides. Um, happy Thursday. Today is January uh, 20th, last day of first semester. Now, this particular project and, and Flipbook will go into Schoology as a project. So if you want to have a great start to the second semester, I strongly encourage you to get this turned in um, while you're away from school tomorrow, okay? So I'm going to get out of the presentation mode here so you can see the whole thing. And this is probably how it'll look on your slide, on your end. Now, uh, for slides two, three, and four, uh, please go to YouTube and look at the, the video for the 19th, I believe it is, the Bill of Rights. And uh, I go over the notes that should appear in uh, those slides, all right? Today... I just gave everyone the uh, Bill of Rights, uh, the first 10 amendments of the Constitution. So I'll show each of these, okay? If you want to copy them from here, that's fine. They're also in your textbook, uh, excuse me, in Chapter 7, 3.3. Uh, there's a nice little chart in there, and most of them, most of these came from that chart, okay? So here's the slideshow. So you can always go back and pause those and uh, get those into your notes. Now, on this very last slide, you want to copy and paste the first sentence of the last paragraph. And let me see if I still have my book open. I do. Awesome. All right. So you go to individual freedoms. You go scroll all the way down. This is the last paragraph. And you only need to copy and paste the first sentence here that I have highlighted and put it onto this slide. Okay, and that's all you have to do. Um, as you can see, I have a total of 17 slides here. So I got rid of all those other slides I didn't need. Didn't need. Okay, like the graphic slides and stuff like that at the end. And uh, But keep this one. I think it's just a nice touch uh, for your flip book. And you can always, uh, you can take probably take this stuff out down here if you need to. And put in your own. Okay, you don't have to put in your personal information, but you know, you can put in something different there. Then, once that is done, you're going to uh, open up a new tab and go to, uh, what's this called, Flip Snack. Okay. Uh, please sign in. And when you sign in, apparently I was already signed in, but when you sign in, sign in with Google. All right. Sign in with Google. And this particular app is going to let you turn your um, Google Slides into a PDF. So as you can see, I already have one here, but let me just take you through the process. I'm going to get rid of this one. And let's take you through the process. When you get in here, uh, click on this blue button, upload your PDF. So before you start, you have to go file, download, PDF. Okay, once you do that, It'll load up into your uh, Google Classroom, or excuse me, your Google Drive, and make sure that you pay attention to the file name that you gave it so you can find it quicker. All right. So once you've downloaded it as a PDF, you're going to come over here to flip, flipsnack.com, sign in with Google, and then uh, press this blue button upload. Find your file. Mine is right here. It'll take a few seconds for it to load up, all right? And once it uh, has completely loaded up, you'll get the check mark and the blue button next will show up, okay? Like it just, just did. So I'm going to click that. It will load my slides into FlipSnack, and that'll take a few seconds, and um, turn it into the Flipbook. So there it is. Now you can play around with the, you know, branding, uh, background, right? Right now it's set to gray. If I put it this, you know, it'll set that background. 
hardcover effect. That's cool. Oh, okay. So now it opens up that way, like a hardcover book. That's actually pretty cool. It says shadow on pages, highlights on links. That's fine. Okay. So as you can see, it turned my slides into this uh, nice little flip book. Now, once you've looked it over, you change the background. If you want to add the hard cover uh, effect, you can do that. Press save and share. Okay. Uh, it'll be public. And then make sure you press uh, publish. And then you'll see your preview. Now, back at the top of this page here, this is what I need from you in order to give you credit for it in Schoology for its second semester. You need to make a copy of this, of this share link right here. Okay, so press copy. Then you're gonna go over to your Google Classroom and look for an assignment post called Share Your Flipbook Bill of Rights. When you do that, okay, it's gonna take you to this form. Okay, type in your name, put the period that you belong to, and then you're gonna copy and paste that link that you just copied right here and then press submit, all right? And that's how I'll get it, as you can see, you know, almost 80 people have already turned theirs in so far. All right. Now I'll take this and then I'll, um, you know, take a look at them and put the give you credit in Schoology once second semester starts. All right. So that's a great way uh, to get a good start to second semester with a project uh, that's worth about 15% of your grade. All right. So with that, um, you know, Go to Schoology, send me a question if you have any questions, but hopefully that was clear. All right, and we will see you on Monday. Have a good one.